Good afternoon. Today's date is that we're going to be showing you a daily on the NASDAQ and we're going to be showing you this weekly one right here. But most importantly is, is that we're going to start with this daily composite as far as the NASDAQ composite. The NASDAQ composite has been one of the best rallies uh, that we have seen uh, year to date in history. I just want to cover that yes we had a lot of narrow day ranges uh, back in here and one of the things that we want to make sure is that we're simply going to take this top on a daily level in the composite NASDAQ and look at the amount of daily movements one two there's three and there's four on that seventh day daily it came all the way down here and that the price volatility was going to increase substantially we also did the following that I want everyone to understand up front right now on the uh, Dow and the Nasdaq and the S&P we're updating everything today what you need to do is the following you need to take action for yourself you go to the free trial tab it's very clear read the content watch everything that you need to let's just get started today training trading everything that we do open an account it's simple it's easy and the only requirement is you watch the videos you click on open an account you click on getting started again and why am I saying that read the content understand the 2025 you people that want to trade in the bull market with less than $25,000 at your online discount brokers you are restricted on how much trading you can do and you need to know one thing that we are going to fund your trading account that's putting capital into your trading account and you can do intraday trades daily and the most important thing you can do is get back in this bull and bear market the bear market is not here technically right now but the bull market is and all you got to do is get a look at our execution systems the execution system is the routes that are sent to the floor on the exchanges and we have a lot of routes these routes here you will never have look at how many routes there is there and I'm far from being done so let's go up here and we continue to have dark pool routes we got the ECNs you can switch bookers you can do everything that you want to do in dark pools it cost us a lot of money to have these routes but these routes are going to give you the edge in your execution yes it is sterling pro application with all of the MMT's trading the firm's capital with the best floor traders could have is this all of the executions just remember uh, fund managers don't even have this no they don't the retail public they do not have all of these routes and I could tell you right now submitting your order in a direct access daily market intraday you need those routes you need them now you need them now and you know you don't get them so don't hey I'm not even going to say it. you don't get them we know you don't because you're under the retail day trader environment it's fairly fairly clear here on that Dow top I'm just going to show that Dow top um, and the Dow top and the Nasdaq top are identical they're running together that Dow had the top same thing right over here as this Nasdaq composite daily chart right here and they look almost the same listen we started out on the composite at 4,600 we went to uh, the low was here uh, 4,579 this is where we call those reversals and we told you clearly before the fact when we were going to have the reversal why we were going to have the reversal and why we are telling you now that you're below the 10 day you're below that red line is a 20 day the the white line right here that's a 50-day simple moving average I'm going to give you that simple uh, I'm going to give you that 50-day moving average right now on 926 that 50-day is 44 point no 44.95.48 that's the 50-day simple moving average 
another thing that I'm going to want to uh, clear up with you. I want you to understand the NASDAQ Composite Index. A lot of your big heavy tech names are in there, your internet stocks, software stocks. But the NASDAQ had been on a tear back down here um, when we had a daily support level. We had big rally to another high. Then we had to have that daily reversal that we were telling people about on that daily. Here's the daily reversal where we're currently at. Another thing that I want to say is that we're about to maybe um, go from the moving average convergence divergence. Um, we're down to 5.5. The weekly percent DS on a weekly level is 28.96. That means we're going to get ready for another volatility bounce. We could go lower down here, and this particular moving average here is the uh, simple daily moving average called the uh, 100 moving average. And that we had a top, this one here, then straight down. Um, on the weekly chart, look at here. Look at the weekly chart. Look at the weekly chart. You could not take out. In that price volatility action on the NASDAQ composite, we have a big selling day. In fact, that bounced on that line right there. This is a 10-week moving average for the first pass for the NASDAQ composite. Now, remember, just like any day, that 10-week simple moving average on the NASDAQ weekly composite is going to be 44.99. That's that blue line. This is the top of that resistance on the NASDAQ composite. And one of the things that I'm going to show you about the NASDAQ composite, as we cover the bull run in the NASDAQ composite, here, as we're updating things right now, we're updating the uh, S&P 500 um, and the Dow Jones and the NASDAQ composite. Click the free trial tab. Take responsibility for you. Get started today. You could spend five days with us in the live market. You can also see our market maker division in the price action on equities across the board. But we also know what you have to do is you go to trading and you go to open an account. When you hit open an account, read the content, listen to the videos, open an account, get started, do everything that you need to do Yes, we're going to fund your trading account to be involved in this next bull run. And we're having some pullbacks and corrections. Just go through it. And I have already clearly stated one thing about the routes. They go on forever. These routes go right to the floor of the exchanges. You don't have that in your retail platform. And not only that, it costs us a lot of money. And when we start with the bats all the way down here, we got dark pulls. We've got more ways that you don't even see that limit order because if it crosses over on a dark pool and you'll get executed before it shows. And you'll be taught how to learn direct access to the floor of every exchange that you're not aware of as a retail trader. And as a retail trader, you don't have to be that. Here are all the routes. And I'm going, and I'm going, and I'm going, and I'm going. All the way down here. Dark pool here, edge here. All of these direct access routes. Yes, you heard me. You will be trained with our market makers live in the uh, trading room as to how you are going to be able to work this. Now, back on the composite. We were um, overbought up here. The high was 46.10. And the low that uh, weekly was 45, 42. This was that support area. When you're looking for a major reversal, we certainly had that on um, 9.21. On this thing right here, 9.21, we hit a low. I want everyone to know what that low was. So we'll start with the open of 45.66. And then the high was 45.68. Uh, but the low is the key on that lower lower wick right there is exactly 4466 um, the 10-week moving average 4499 20-week moving average down here right above uh, it's right around 44 uh, 
4412. So it's very important that you guys understand which one of the uh, indexes has the most price volatility net net overall. It's this uh, NASDAQ composite. And we're on a major topping pattern for now. And it's a bull and it's a bear. And is it ever a bull and bear fight? And I'm going to tell you why. This here is called NASDAQ Biotech. And we're doing extremely well. I just want to show the stocks that are in the NASDAQ 100. Okay. And this is called the NASDAQ 100. And these are all the high flyers that we trade all the time. This is the ranges in here on equities going up and down. We go long and we go short. I just want you to know that's the NASDAQ 100. As far as the um, transports, which is very important on the NASDAQ, they've been doing quite well. And these are all the stocks within that sector. Um, another thing that we want to show clearly is, once again, the Dow Jones Industrial Stocks. There's 30 of them in here. Nike was an all-star. They beat their earnings and they rock and roll. Uh, you got, uh, of course, you know, you got all kinds of things in here. You got Goldman Sachs, you got Nikes, you got CBX. You have exactly 30 stocks in the DJI. And you can see that the price action on the, on the range today in all of these uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average Components. That's the indexes that we're trading right now. You have Caterpillar in here. You got Visa, IBM, American Express. Exxon Mobil, I mean, you know, Caterpillar um, in the Dow Jones 30 index that we're currently showing you right now and the NASDAQ composite, they have a mix in there. So what you see in the Dow and what you see in the NASDAQ, a lot of those sectors are running exactly together. And you have the Dow transports and you have the NASDAQ composite transports. So we're mixing and matching the two indexes and some of these stocks it, they you know are in that other index in the Dow Jones Industrial so when we start talking about the financials which is something to be aware of is that in the financials we were up you got these different types of stocks in there you get a lot of them that uh, cross over here um, these are in the NASDAQ as well. Okay, and I've showed some of the last Dow ones, Dow Jones Industrial Average in this video. Now I'm showing you the NASDAQ 100. I showed you the NASDAQ Biotech. And most importantly, you have the Dow uh, NASDAQ here, the Dow Transport sector. And then over here, over here, you're going to find out that that Dow Jones also is moving right along with these indexes um, at the same time because here's the Dow transportation. This is the Dow right here again. I'm just going over them. That's the Dow transports. I'm going to go back again to the NASDAQ transports and they have acted extremely well. So I will be doing some individual uh, sectors and things like that. What I want you to do, get involved in this next bull market. You deserve those order routes to the floor that you don't get. You deserve to have an account that has enough capital for you to buy and sell and trade. And another thing, our market making division is going to be behind you. So I've already called a weekly reversal and that last time when we got below a 10-week moving average, it didn't last long. That date was on 8.3 and we have never seen it. Other than we have a major topping pattern in the NASDAQ weekly chart. And I've already showed the NASDAQ daily again. It's going below the daily simple moving averages. Once again, learn how to trade the NASDAQ composite, understand reversals, how to get in, how to trade the intraday lows, how to sell short at the highs, and let's let you get going in the next bull run.